Hey everybody, this is Germs. Today we're looking at a preview of a game called Ignite by Nemesis Games. Nemesis spelled N-E-M-E-S-Y-S. -E -S. Interesting spelling. Um, they are an independent game studio from Budapest, Hungary, and they like gaming. Um, Ignite is one of their first games. It is a racing game similar to uh, Burnout or some of the Need for Speed games. Very arcadey, very focused on points and fun and crashing into things and all of that good stuff. Uh, they feature cars like Burnout that look a lot like cars you've seen in the real world or you probably haven't seen in the real world, but cars you've seen in pictures. Uh, but they are not officially licensed cars because this is an indie game and I imagine that would have cost way too much. But at any rate, they are very fun to drive. Um, it's pretty easy to do drifting. Uh, of course, if you have a, a 360 controller or a steering wheel, this will go a little bit better. I'm not sure if this game supports steering wheels or not, but it does support 360 controllers. Uh, now, the main drawback to Ignite is while it is a very slick game, the graphics are great, um, it really does capture the spirit of the Burnout games, there's just not a ton here for the price. Uh, it currently is listing on Steam for $20. And that's not that expensive, that's by no means a $60 game, but for that price you could get a Burnout game or uh, a Need for Speed game, Need for Speed Shift or something like that, and those are far superior games. I'm not trying to knock Ignite, but I might wait until it went on sale for $10 or $5 or pick it up in an indie pack. And again, you know Nemesis Games did a great job making this, uh, I'm not trying to knock any of their efforts. But it maybe is a little bit more than I would pay uh, for a racing game with this much content. Now. Uh, it is very fun, like I said, the graphics are great, it controls well, um, it, it's a little bit arcadey, so it can be a little bit hard at times to get a good feel for your car, some of it's just luck and getting used to it, uh, but it's not bad. Now the tracks are nothing amazingly spectacular, as you can see uh, in the demo I was driving on that uh, one out in the middle of the fields and this one racing around shipping containers. You know, these are all locations we've seen before in Burnout and Need for Speed games, as well as many other racing games. Um, so they're not really trying to innovate necessarily there, and they're not really trying to innovate on the type of gameplay. They're just trying to make a really fun experience, and for that, they really did succeed. Uh, this game is a ton of fun. Um, the damage is excellent. Uh, it really do get an awesome sense of speed, and it, you know it's it's really a lot of fun building up points just to use your nitrous meter to blast ahead of your opponent opponents. So, uh, just to recap. I really do like this game. Graphics are good, sound is good, control is pretty good, it's arcadey, so if you don't like arcadey drivers, then uh, you may not like this one. But it's not a ton of content for what you're paying, so I might wait till you go on sale. But there it is, guys. Ignite, available from Nemesis Games on the Steam Store or from Nemesis right now. Enjoy.